Good morning. It's a Monday. We're back from the farm show. It's President's Day, so the boys don't have school again today. That's why they were off school on Friday. Why, why is it President's Day? Why is it President's Day? Because that's what it is today. So there's nobody new president tomorrow? No. This is when we celebrate all the past presidents. I think one of the president's birthdays is not maybe not today, but close to today or something. So anyway, what did you guys like best about the farm show? I'm not talking about the farm show. You're not talking about the farm show? No. Tractor pull, Lila. Ryan like the tractor pulls? I'm get down, get down, get down, get down. I said I'm driving We're not driving. We're not going yet. Brayson had his birthday last week, and we had a little party yesterday for him again, so he got more presents. That's what he's all excited about. Right? He's got a party for two years. He has gotten a lot of presents. You're right. Anyway, Grandpa's back. He had something this morning, and he is going to take the boys in the gator back to the fence row to go. No, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Huh? Drive? Drive? No, with Grandpa. What are you going to do back to the fence row? Oh. Don't know? Cut down trees. There you go. Okay. So they're going to go do that. And we're going to find some stuff around here to work on. And I need a saw. You need a saw. Grandpa's got to sharpen his chainsaw, he said. Yeah. I need All right. Off they go. Grandpa's gonna let Ryland drive. I don't know if he can make that circle. Maybe. He did. All right, off they go. I have been working in here on the computer a little bit this morning, um, spending a whole lot of money. <sighs> expensive, expensive parts. Um, so we, I ordered new blades for our Landall, our, our vertical till disc. So we are going, going to um, reblade that. I don't know if it's going to happen before spring, but the blades are on sale right now from the dealer, and so we um, got them coming. I actually got to go pick them up here. And what else? Um, Seed disc openers for the bean planter. Phil wants to replace all those because he was having a bunch of bearing issues last year and blades breaking or the rivets breaking that hold the hubs on. So we're going to replace all of those. It's about time anyway from a wear standpoint. Uh, and I bought spiked closing wheels for the new planter. So uh, hopefully we can get that tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't heard from them, but uh, we'll see where we're at with stuff. Uh, maybe I'll talk to them later today or we'll f figure it out. But I would really like to get that planter home before it rains Wednesday and Thursday and uh, be able to get it in the shop and work on it a little bit. So we'll see. But we got we got lots of work coming up here in the next couple of weeks. One of them is back. They um, had to, Did you guys have to bring a load of firewood up? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Dumped it across the road to the neighbors. And uh, he wants lunch. The other one just wanted to go back to the woods. So he's going to go with me. We're going to go pick up our blades for uh, that land off. <laughs> lunch first but it's not lunch time yet it's not even 11 o'clock so um a little slow today waiting for this planter deal to happen and, you know we'll see maybe we'll have to get the bean planter out once we get our blades and just get that in the shop and work on it but we're gonna take my old truck the chevy i'm gonna have to unhook the gooseneck and take that to pick up these blades because i imagine they're heavy and more than i want to put in my half ton ram yeah, it's a beautiful day sun's shining it's awesome we um Oh, we got some work to do. We got some work. There's 92 blades there for the disc. You get in the truck. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this dealer is almost as good as the farm show. We got the honeybee headers. We got land all stuff. We got cover crimp crimpers. <coughs> Look, an old pot tie uh, paratil. We used to have one of those. We got stuff over here. I don't, it's, it's, I don't even know what brand. Oh, that's a sunflower chisel, disc chisel sort of thing. I don't know. Salfords. We got a deer planter. We got hardy sprayers. We got a Kinsey planter. White planter. 
they sell um, horse uh, planters here. Anyway, we got our stuff. Heading home. Oh, that's a heavy stack of blades. I wonder what those weigh. There's 92 of them on there. I couldn't tell you what the weight is, but um, it's not light. All right, well, there they'll sit. Uh, anybody want a Polaris 850 uh, ATV motor with a um, extra... Uh, let's see, where's it at? There's a vent. There's, a, there's an oil vent on here somewhere. <laughs> By oil vent, I mean hole in the block. Oh, yeah, it's down there. Yeah. Starter? No, no, the starter's not good because it punched a hole through the starter, too, when it pissed and blew. The rod blew. Anyway, we should do something with this. That's been sitting there for four or five years. Oh, yeah. That pile of blades in there, a little over six grand. It's not cheap to put new blades on a disc. This will be the second time that we've done it since we've owned it. I don't remember when we bought that. 2012, 13, somewhere in there. So we've had it for a while. Uh, but the last time we did it was 2019. These uh, serrated blades that we put on there, I don't feel like they wore very good. And the bearings were total junk. And Yeah, so I don't know. We'll, we'll get it around some point and do some measuring and see uh, how worn those blades are. We did measure them this fall. That's why we kind of decided we needed to do this. Because the uh, we've got the depth adjustment as far down as it'll go, so we can't set it any deeper, and it's just kind of barely in the ground. It's fine for the spring. It's not good for fall when we're trying to go a little bit deeper and break up corn stalks and do a better job. But anyway, it's, it's, it's a big project on the list of things to do at some point, but I'm not going to do it now. Okay, well now that we've got that done. Uh, Dad's got the boys. They went back to the woods again. I kind of want to go back and see what's going on. I know that um, he's he's teaching them all kinds of lessons. I'll show you in a minute. But we can't get back there with a pickup. We could probably get back there with a tractor, but it might be a little muddy. But we got a four-wheeler. You know, the one that, that engine came out of. It's sitting over here. Let's see if it'll start. Maybe we'll just take that. Got to move an air conditioner. I used to ride this thing all the time. And then we bought a Gator, and now we almost never use it. Dad uses it first, pulling a little ATV sprayer, and that's about it. Got air in the tires. I think we're in good shape here. Yeah, that one's a little soft. Yeah. All right. Let's see if it'll start. We'll get it up to the shop and put some air in, and we'll go. What are the chances here? Yeah, I thought maybe. Oh, 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 oh. just had to think about it once. Wow. Awesome. All right, all right. Two out of four tires. We're low. All right, let's go see what they're up to. Oh, I'm gonna grab some gloves. What were you trying to do over here, Rylan? Can you tell me? Trying to make maple syrup in. Yeah. Don't film it. Why not? Because it's a failure. It's a failure, he says. We don't have a tab. Let's run it down this side. We gotta, we gotta get the right stuff. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to work on the maple syrup making. It's a crazy stick. Yep, you're right. Dad's been cleaning up this edge here along this woods. Says he's wanted to do it for 30 years, 40 years now, but uh, finally getting around to it. So um, this side is part of the home farm that Dad bought when he moved up here in, in 1980. Th this side uh, we bought 10 years ago or so, and uh, it's part of the farm where I build all my stuff. But you can see right here is the old dead furrow. This is where they used to plow the edge of the field to. Probably even more farther in there, but there's definitely one here. And we're not farming until out to here now. And it did, you're right. So we're just peeling all this stuff back. The old fence is right in here. And we're gaining 10, 15 feet along here. Cut all these trees out, gets the branches out of the fields. Makes a big difference. Makes a big difference. So that's what Dad likes to do, and he's been working on it. So we're just piling stuff up now. Eventually there'll be fires started. But probably not today. A bunch of piles all along there. Cutting the stuff up to make it handleable. Handle all ball. We're taking some of this firewood to the neighbor across the road. He sells it. We don't need it. So that works out well. A little more handleable, I guess. <laughs> 
Let's put the back gator right back to the pile so you don't have to carry them. All right, Ryland got another load of firewood all stacked up. Forgot to put it in gear. You're stuck here forever. Grayson's got his foot stuck in the fence. Hold on, slow down, slow down. Let me help you. There you go. All right, they're gonna take that and load up. I'm gonna take Grayson, we're gonna take the four wheeler back up to the farm. All right, well, we helped Grandpa clean up logs and branches and stuff for a while. Ryland went back again. He's back there, our Brayson is with me again, and we have to go pick up Morelli. Uh, Maddie, my wife, has gone on a, a road trip this afternoon. I don't Daddy. think Morelli's supposed to say where she's going just Daddy, yet. Dad. I'll tell you, someday, but not yet. Um, anyway, she can't get Morelli from the babysitters today, so I have to go pick her up. So that's where we are going. Right, Brayson? And it's uh, about four o'clock anyway. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do anything when we get back, so. We're gonna wrap it up, I think. This one wasn't really exciting, but that's okay. Tomorrow, I'm really hoping to bring a planter home. I don't know if they're gonna let me have it yet, and I don't know if our tractor's done. That's the big thing. Um, I don't know if they've had time to fix that uh, uh, oil leak and uh, on the steering cylinder and the other one yet. It may not be done. It may not be your time to bring it home, but there's chances of rain Wednesday and Thursday this week, and I was hoping to get it home before it rains and the roads get crappy. We'll see. Maybe Friday, if not, uh, tomorrow, but we're going to um, we're going to get a planter in the shop regardless. If it doesn't look like we're going to get the um, corn planter home tomorrow, we'll pull the bean planter in the shop and start working on that. And uh, we got a lot to do to it this year with new openers and everything, so we can start tearing it apart and, and uh, getting stuff ready um, for when we get all our parts. So, thanks for watching today. Like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, turn your notifications on if you would. And want to know when I post new videos, although it's pretty easy. 8 o'clock every morning, right? So um, the workload increases here moving forward over the next couple of weeks, getting planners and stuff ready. So we'll be we'll be filming more. We'll be busy. It'll be a lot of the same type of stuff, but it'll be different than what we've been doing. So uh, that's good. And yeah, spring is coming. Time to get it ready. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.